Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32, here at Destroy the Ever Living Boo Boo, staying off of that subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1100 ladder. Y'all have been killing it. We're at over 1,140 subscribers, and I cannot be more appreciative. I hope that you are enjoying your day better than I am because, man, I'm still trying to get used to this brand new full time schedule. 4 a.m. to noon, ladies and gentlemen. This is some baby back bullshit. Anyway, huh. <laughs> Besides all that, we've got some anniversary collection reveals. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, this makes me and the Ultra Ball and the Ultra Banana that we haven't seen in a hot minute hard AF. We have, and I'm going to try my best to do an impression here, but we have Colorless Chaos King of Dark World. As I try to do a uh, brawn impression, that's probably terrible. <laughs> so, for those of you who didn't watch the Yu Gi Oh! GX anime, which you should go watch this duel because it's awesome as hell. Essentially, in the GX anime, Braun was trying to create the super polymerization spell card. Then he wanted to use super polymerization to fuse the monsters on the field to create this fusion monster. So that's why it says here, what does the Wicked Cannon's path of anger, anguish, doubt, hatred, and sadness finally lead to? Because each of Jaden's friends got each of those different emotions like placed on them. So this is finally the fusion monster after all these years that we now get to have and the artwork is just badass it looks like a persona like boss and it, it's just so cool so this is chaos king of dark or i'm excuse me colorless chaos king of dark world level 12 dark fiend fusion effect monster unknown attack and defense and it requires rainbow overlord of dark world plus two or more fiend monsters now if i remember correctly rainbow overlord of dark world is the original rainbow not the new rainbow that we got so do keep that in mind. I mean, the original rainbow isn't that bad. It's basically just another Silva. But then you also use any other two, two fiend monsters. So, like, it's pretty generic in Dark World. If this card is fusion summon, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. That's pretty good as, since you're going to make this off of a session, most likely. So you have your quick play uh, El Shadal fusion. So you can just pop all the cards the opponent controls on their turn. You can just Zeus them. This card's original attack and defense become the number of fusion materials used for its fusion summon times 1,000. So at minimum, it's going to be 3,000. But since it says two plus fiend monsters, it could be two or more fiend monsters. So it can just get really beefy. Once per turn quick effect, you can target one face-up card you control, discard one card. And if you do, your opponent cannot target the targeted face-up card with card effects this turn. So if you've got like the graph of fusion, then you can ditch a card off of this monster's effect on a quick effect and then make the other fusion untargetable i think it's so cool that we finally have colorless after all of these years so now we could say that we've got skittles we got two versions of skittles and we got colorless so now we have colorless skittles i guess <laughs> so super cool i love that they brought this out it, it's it's awesome the anniversary collection is is looking spicy quite honestly ladies and gentlemen Next up here is the uh, Dinosaur Monsters that Rex Raptor used from the Waking the Dragons, Silvori Kaukos, original Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. Um, so yeah, let's let's go through them here. Not much else to say. I'm just going to shut up. Uh, so this one's Kaito Petra. Uh, Wind Dinosaur Effect Monster, level 4, 1400 attack, 1000 offense. You don't use the second and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. If your opponent controls two or more non-wind face-up monsters, those monsters cannot target this card for attacks. Really oddly specific but i guess that's okay so yeah during your main phase you can add one polymerization from your deck to your hand that's just generically good and the third effect is if this card becomes banished you could special summon it then you can add one polymerization from your grave to your hand again that seems really disgusting ladies and gentlemen especially with the new dino support because they revolve around fusions so yeah that that's that's one way to make us hard next up we have horn source dark dinosaur fusion effect level 6 2000 attack 1800 defense Requires Kaido Petra that we just read, plus one dinosaur or dragon monster. You can only use the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. Notice how it's level six, so you ain't going to be able to use instant fusion on this bitch. If this card is fusion summon, you can place one field spell from your deck or grave face up in your field zone. Thank God Mystic Mine is banned. <laughs> uh, second effect can attack directly the turn it's special summon. Sure, whatever. During your main phase, you can immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one dinosaur or dragon monster. An additional normal summon in the form of a fusion monster. That doesn't seem very bad, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, I mean, these cards are interesting. It'll be interesting to see how they're used with the new dino support. Next up is uh, Combat Wheel. So this is the final 
synchro that we needed from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds that was not yet printed. It's an Earth Machine Synchro Effect Level 6, 25 Attack, 12 Heart Defense, 1 Tuner plus 1 more non-tuners. The first time this card would be destroyed by opponent's card effect each turn, it's not destroyed. Sure, whatever. Once per opponent's battle phase, quick effect, you can discard one card so it can trigger Dark Worlds. This card gains attack equal to half the total attack of all of the face-up monsters you currently control, then place one counter on this card. Also, your opponent's monsters cannot target monsters for attacks this turn except this one. If this card with the counter is destroyed by battle, destroy all monsters you control. This card seems eh, I guess. Like, maybe play it in, like, a synchro dot deck, like Synchrons or something. It doesn't seem that appealing to me. It's not even a fucking tuner either. Um, next up, we have Playmaker's cards. So, yeah, apparently the Eternal Hot Dog question. <laughs> so, uh, this is Drastic Draw. This card's disgusting. So, it's a normal spell. You can only activate one, one card with this card's name per turn. You cannot normal or special summon monsters the turn you activate this card except Cybers monsters. Uh, yeah, Mathmet just called. They don't give a shit. Banish all monsters you control, minimum two, draw three cards. Um, so you mean to tell me that Mathmech has a fucking graceful charity, ladies and gentlemen. Like, Mathmech just has a graceful charity now. Like, why not? Valley D, where, where's your Mathmechs at? You, you going to start drawing three? Bro, they already draw two off of decode, so they're basically just drawing five cards. This is some baby bag bullshit. This card's broken. I don't care what anyone says. This is Transaction Rollback. Normal trap, so you can trap trick the shit out of this. And you better be, because this card's broken too. You can only use one of the first and second effects of this card's name per turn, and only once that turn. Sure. Pay half your life points, and target one normal trap in your opponent's grave, except rollback. This effect becomes that trap card's effect when that card is activated. That seems really disgusting, especially against, like, Elder Lich. You can banish this card from your grave, and pay half your life points, and target one normal trap in your grave, except rollback. This effect becomes that trap card's effect when that card's activated. So if you go against Math Mech, and you're in, like, a mirror match, you can just activate rollback, pay half your life points, and take their super factorial. Like, that's, that's busted. <laughs> Next up is uh, Code Hack, Continuous Trap. Cyber Slate monsters you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Sure. Once per turn during the battle step, if your monster battles an opponent's monster, you can change the opponent's monster attack to zero until the end of this turn. And if you do, neither monster can be destroyed by that battle. Also, neither player takes battle damage from that battle. Okay. When your opponent activates a card or effect during the damage step while your Code Talker monster while your code talk or monster attacks, okay, that's kind of worded weird, banish this card from your graveyard, negate the activation. If you do, the attacking monster gains 700 attack. This card seems kind of eh. Doesn't seem all that great. Next up here, we finally have the rest of Yanagi's cards from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. So this is the Ashoka Pillar, Earth Rock Effect, level 3, zero attack, 2200 defense. We don't care about its stats. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is summoned, you can add one equip spell from your deck to your hand. Then if this card is in attack position, change it to defense position. If this card's destroyed by battle by card effect, take 2,000 damage. So this searches you Stonehenge, which is like one of your key spells in the deck. Next, we have the Cabrera Stone. Earth, rock effect, level 1, zero attack and defense. I only use the first effect once per turn. If this card is summoned, you can add one triangle O, which is this spell card here, from your deck to your hand. Then if this card's in attack position, change it to defense position. This card is destroyed by battle by card effect, take 1,000 damage. We don't care about all that because we're going to be reflecting all the damage back to the opponent. If you watch the anime, then you kind of already know what this deck's about. Triangle O, normal spell. You can only use one of the first and second effect of this card's name per turn and only once that turn. If you control Crystal Skull, Ashoka Pillar, and the Cabrera Stone, destroy all cards on the field. <laughs> yeah, that's what this card does, folks. Also, this turn, your opponent takes any effect damage you would have taken instead. You can banish this card from your grave, target one Crystal Skull, Ashoka Pillar, and Cabrera Stone in your grave, shuffle them into the deck, then draw three frickin' cards. So disgusting. So, for those of you who are like Avery, this deck seems like ass. Yeah, it's kind of a really ass, like, burn deck, to be honest. But essentially, the whole gimmick of this deck is to drop out the Ashoka Pillar, the Cabrera Stone and the Crystal Skull, use Triangle O to pop them all, and then the opponent takes the burn damage. So you're looking at just Ashoka Pillar and the Cabrera Stone, that's 3,000, and I think the Crystal Skull does 1,000. So you're looking at 4,000 damage, plus the trap here doubles the effect damage. So it's Totem Pole, Continuous Trap. Your opponent cannot target Rock Monsters you control with zero original attack with card effects, so it makes all your monsters not be able to be targeted. Uh, once per battle, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can negate that attack, then place one counter on this card. If this card has three counters, send in the grave. Sure. If you have three or more monsters with zero attack and different names in your grave, you can banish this card from your grave. Any effect damage your opponent takes this turn is doubled. So basically, you do the 4,000 damage to your three main monsters and banish the trap, and then you burn for game. So that's 
that, that that's going to be fun to troll with people. Last but not least here is uh, Fusion Reinforcement. This card's disgusting AF. Uh, yeah, and as it says here, see, so you want to run Flame Swords and but hate having to use Manipulator. So, normal spell, only have a one card, but this card's name per turn. Uh, I'm honestly, this card makes me want to buy a case of Duelist Nexus. Reveal one Fusion Monster in your extra deck, and if you do, special summon one of the Fusion Materials mentioned on it from your extra deck or grave. But until the end of your opponent's turn, it cannot attack. Also, its effects are negated. This has so much fucking implications, ladies and gentlemen, that you can drop out a like a fusion monster from your extra deck. You could like drop out one of the materials from your grave. Like this card has a lot of potential, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, it, it, I'm definitely excited for it. This card seems really busted on paper. So let me know what you think about all of these reveals. Is there something that I missed with one of these effects? Um, yeah, I think we're going to probably, we'll probably get these cards in like our Battle of Legends set. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.